Hi, my name is Hugo, and this is Cutthroat Kitchen testing the sabotage. Today, my tuna has been replaced with spicy tuna rolls, and the challenge for today is obviously tuna melt. There's not that much tuna in here. Now, we're making a sandwich, so the key to this is to get as much of this tuna out as we possibly can without getting that rice in there, because obviously, starch on starch, it just wouldn't go well. So, cut these bad boys in half. I'm just gonna scrape as much of it as I can. Very few grains of rice. That's not bad. So we're on about four minutes here, and as you can see, yeah, I've got about half a cup of tuna, uh, so I'm gonna have to speed it up here a little bit. I'm just gonna use my finger to poke it out. All right, so I've got about three-fourths of a cup there. I'm not gonna spend my time pulling that rice out, and obviously before we start putting this together, we're gonna taste the tuna to see what kind of flavors we have it's not that spicy. The texture of it though, it's almost like a paste. I wanna give it a little crunch to it, a little feel to it. I've got some celery, a little green onion, a red onion, add a little bit of acid, and some mayo. That should tone down the spice. So we'll give it a taste. Hmm, it's lovely, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna build my sandwich. I've got some good cheese that goes with the tuna. You wouldn't normally put cheese and sushi together, but in this case, we're gonna try it. We're done. So it looks like a tuna melt. Yeah, try it though. Yes, this is delicious. This is better than a regular tuna melt. It's got a little spice, which I normally wouldn't have added. It's got good crunch, good texture. The cheese actually worked really well with the spicy tuna. Sabotage approved. Oh well, look, you caught spicy tuna rolls, yeah. Horrible sabotage, horrible sushi. Well, but you're gonna harvest the tuna out of it and make a sandwich, right? This is gonna be horrible.